Hi there, this is Solid Sharon from Solid Sharon and Films and welcome to another video on Crawd de Chabrol. This is part 9, I believe, and this is La Rupture, or The Breach, from 1970. This stars Stéphane Audran, who was in Le Boucher in the same year. Um, Shabra went through a prolific period in the early 70s. It also stars Jean-Paul, Jean-Pierre Castle and Michelle Bouquet. There's also lots of familiar faces from other Shabra films because he did kind of use a stock company. Um, and this film pretty much, pretty much um, erupts from the start. It's a, it just opens on a nice idyllic scene of a mother preparing breakfast for a child and then the father comes out of the room looking a little bit, coming out of the bedroom, looking a little bit disorientated and proceeds to try and strangle Stephen Ordran as if one would do that. Um, and then as he's just telling him to calm down after they separate, he proceeds to pick up the child and throw him across the room. Like a four-year-old child. It is actually quite shocking because he just like lifts him up and throws him across the room. Um, and then um, Audran's character, Helene, um, proceeds to beat him up with a frying pan until he's unconscious. And then she rushes out, carrying the child to the neighbour's house to rush him to hospital and to call the police on Charles, her husband. And then the credits roll. It's a fairly explosive start before the credits. So if you saw this in the cinema and you were a couple of minutes late getting in, um, there was a bit of a scene that you missed. Again, the two lead characters are Helene and Charles, which are character names that appear in rather a lot of Chabrol films. I don't know whether this is maybe Chabrol's parents' names, I'm not quite sure, but Helene and Charles do kind of crop up quite a lot in these films. Anyway, that's a that's a side note. Um, so, cut to the hospital. Now, Charles, who has dreams of being a writer, has emotional problems. Um, he's not quite right in the head. But Charles' father turns up, played by Michelle Bouquet, who is very rich. And the grandparents have never approved of the marriage because Audran's character, Helene, isn't educated and she works as a barmaid. But because Charles doesn't actually have a job, she supports the family. Um, but she's previously been a stripper. Um, so they've never approved of the marriage. Helene wants a divorce, so Charles won't hurt them again. Um, which is obviously fine with the grandfather, because he wants the marriage to end as well, but he wants custody of his grandson, which obviously Helene wants to raise the boy herself. So that's the basic dynamic of it. Now, to prove that Helene is an unfit mother, um, the grandfather hires Paul, 
which is another character name that appears in just about every Shabrol film, played by Jean-Pierre Castle. Now, the grandfather and Paul's father were kind of in business together, and it's kind of intimated that the grandfather, their business partnership didn't quite work out, and Paul's father killed himself. Um, but that's kind of the inference and because he knows Paul's broke he offers him this job to essentially try and find out or try to find out some dirt on Helene so he can go to the judge to get custody of his grandson now Michelle Bouquet's character is bit of a scumbag you could argue that one of the maybe the flaws in the film is the fact that the people who are plotting against Helene are just like such scumbags that you know there's no doubt of who you're supposed to be rooting for um, so Paul meets Helene at the hospital and pretends to be dying of cancer to get into her good graces and then to try and prove that she's a bad mother. Now because of the her son's in the hospital she finds a boarding house across the road which is full of interesting characters shall we say that have maybe strayed from a David Lynch film um, there's three old women or three witches who sit by the window and play cards and just gossip about everything there's the landlady who keeps the men and the women separate because she doesn't like any of that sexy stuff um, her husband's an alcoholic because he feels guilty about Elise, who is a um, mentally challenged young girl. So he's plastered most of the time and is trying to catch um, sneaky drinks when nobody's looking. And there's also a ham actor who is quite amusing and makes lots of over the top speeches about things. Um, so Dran is in this boarding house and Paul, through his story about how he's dying, manages to get into the boarding house as well and obviously immediately starts trying to get the other guest to turn on Helene. Um, Yes, there is a scheme involving Elise. Paul has a seemingly nymphomaniac girlfriend and she knows seedier elements so they try and get, they essentially drug Elise, show her porn, the girlfriend essentially sexually assaults her and they try and frame Helene for it. It's nice stuff. Um, this film is an 18 because it is a little bit dark. This is in the Arrow Films DVD Volume 2 selection of Shabrol because again most of his films aren't on Blu-ray for some bizarre reason. I don't know whether it's rights or something. Um, so I won't spoil the ending but this is a, another really really good Shabrol the ending is quite bizarre it kind of as almost as explosive and strange as the opening um, this is really Audran's film if you're not familiar with um, Stefan Audran's work 
apart from maybe a couple of Bunnell films. You really need to check it out in the Chabrol films, La Boucher, um, La Rupture, for example. She's just fantastic. I mean, there's a great scene on a tram. It's a very long tram journey with her lawyer, who's played by the guy who was in This Man Must Die, which I talked about a couple of episodes ago. Um, and she's pretty much explaining how she and Charles met, um, the kind of struggles they've had, his emotional problems, and she begins to cry, but she still stays strong through it, and, you know, she's got a tear-stained face, but she's still, like, holding it together and strong. It's just, like, such a great performance. Um, she's ballsy in this, but she's also like vulnerable at times and you can see that just all these forces of darkness are kind of getting to her and she's kind of had enough as well um, obviously it's the classic you know rich people trying to buy their way out of everything and they're so used to getting their own way that they want you know custody of their grandson um, like I said, the two grandparents are just scumbags, basically. Um, it's interesting, the conventional film, you know, if this was a Hollywood film, the character of Paul, who's hired to get the dirt on Helene, just for money, because he's broke, he would, you know, fall for Helene and try and trick the rich people and get back on them, but of course... This is Shabrol, so that doesn't ha that doesn't happen. Um, Paul sees the whole thing through. He sees that Helene is a good person. He sees that she doesn't have skeletons in her closet. She doesn't have, you know, secrets that would portray her as a bad mother and unfit to keep her son. But he still goes through with the plans to kind of make her look like that you know there's no redemption for him there's no you know golden moment where he realizes he's doing wrong and he changes you know there's none of that um he's a scumbag too <laughs> um yeah there's not a lot of likable characters apart from Audran um even the doctor who shows her to the boarding room, the boarding house, sorry, um, and kind of helps her out. He's constantly kind of almost teasing her about the health of her son, and it's just kind of a little bit strange. Um, bizarrely, the ham actor is one of the characters who comes out of it clean, because um, he's actually invited to the grandfather's house, and the grandfather promises him, you know, stardom and you know, press if he turns on Helene and finds, you know, the same thing and he actually turns him down. Um, he would rather keep his honour and not be famous, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, again, an explosive start. So, better strap yourselves in before the pre credit sequence. And an explosive ending. What I would say is don't drink the orange juice um, and a towering performance by Audran and I would recommend checking La Rupture or The Breach um, out. It's another classic Chabrol again kind of late 60s to the early 70s is his prime work. Um, and again, it's a mystery why these films aren't available on Blu-ray. Um, his first two, like I mentioned before, are available in Criterion Blu-ray. But then the rest of his career, I'm just not sure what the story is. So thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if you've seen La Rupture before. Um, and hopefully we'll see you again for part 10 of the Chabrol 
season. Yes, there is going to be quite a few. He did make films for 50 years. Granted, I don't have all of his films, so you can rest easy. It's not going to be Claude Chabrol Part 56. But we're getting there. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Solid Jerome saying farewell and enjoy the rest of your weekend.